Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to inspect ignition coils. Ignition coils are there to step up voltage for inside a, a spark ignition engine. For example, you will be supplying small voltage to this line. This is a primary winding for a motorcycle engine. This is taken out of a Honda motorbike. Right here, we have the primary. The primary starts here and uh, it will end up at the iron core. And the secondary will be taken out through this. This is where the high tension cable going to the spark plug is taken out. And one end is connected to the iron core. Similar ignition coils are available. For example, right here we have a magneto ignition coil taken out of a single cylinder grass mower. And uh, as you can see right here we have connection for the primary winding. Primary winding will start here. It will go around this coil and finally it will get soldered to the iron core and right here we have the secondary secondary will be taken out from here you can see for example right here you can see here is a input for the primary one end of the primary will be connected to this iron core and the secondary will be taken out it is broken here so now we are going to test the coils there are two coils basically there is a primary coil and a secondary coil for example in a typical ignition coil of this kind you can see we have the primary ends. One is a positive and one is a negative terminal. The positive terminal is common for the secondary winding and the primary winding. It will begin here. The primary will go around and finally comes out through the negative terminal. And the secondary winding will begin at the ignition coil plus and it will end at the center terminal. We call it terminal four or the high tension terminal right here. So will be simply measuring resistance. In order to test the well-being of the coil, put your multimeter on ohms rating. This is an auto range type multimeter, so simply putting it on ohms will be enough, but if you have a, a multiple range selector, then you have to use the appropriate range. For primary winding, you can use the lowest setting. For secondary winding, you should be putting it in 20K setting. That's the best alternative. So let's go ahead and measure the primary winding of this ignition coil, for example. Yeah, it depends on the specification. You need to have a specification for your ignition coil. Right here, for example, this primary winding is reading 3.2 ohms resistance. And for the secondary winding, place one multimeter on the positive and uh, put the other on the center terminal. We'll be expecting somewhere around uh, 15,000 ohm in K ohm. So from 6k up to 15 is possible. Make sure you have a good contact. Right here, for example, it is reading 7.5 kilo ohm. So this indicates this ignition coil is in good shape. In order to exactly know whether your ignition coil is functional or not, you should have a specification. You should have the primary winding specification and secondary winding specification for your particular ignition coil. Let's go ahead and do similar test on this ignition coil. This is a Bosch ignition coil. As you can see right here, we have the ignition coil, primary positive and uh, negative is right there. Let's go ahead and test the primary. Simply put the multimeter into both ends. Right here, it is reading 3.5 ohms. 3.5 ohms for the primary. For the secondary, let's go ahead and put this right in here. It is reading 9.7 kilo ohms. This is how you test. Then once the reading is found, you can compare it to a specification. Here we have another very old ignition coil. Identify the terminals. You can identify the terminals by numbers. For example, right here it is 15. 15 is a terminal designation for a line coming from the ignition switch IG terminal. One is a line coming out from the ignition coil and go, going to the contact points if it is a distributor type ignition coil. So this will be coil plus and this will be coil minus. Let's go ahead and measure resistance. Make sure that the connection is clean. 3.7 ohms on the primary. Let's go ahead and do second secondary test. We are reading 8.5 kilo ohm. Yeah, 8.5 kilo ohm on the secondary. This ignition coils, they don't really get damaged, but over time, they might fail as a result of lots of uh, heat cycle operation. 
Let's go ahead and do the test for a, a, motorcycle, a motorcycle ignition. Right here we have a motorcycle ignition where the primary begins right here and it will end up right on the iron core and the secondary will end up right here and uh, it will be connected to the iron core. Let's go ahead and measure resistance for this ignition coil. Place one multimeter terminal on the primary end. Let's place it on the primary right here and place the other terminal on the ignition coil iron core. This is in order to test the primary winding. Usually the secondary is the one that goes bad on this type of ignition coils and uh, on the magnetotype. Right here for example it is reading 0 0.6 ohm. If you find resistance from 0 0.4 up that would be fine and for the secondary test Place one multimeter end on the iron core and then place the other on the secondary. There is a needle pin right in there. It should be reading from 2.5 up to 5 kilo ohm on this type of ignition coils. Right here it is reading 4 kilo ohm. This indicates this ignition coil is also functional. You can go ahead and do the similar test for this ignition coil. Ignition coil of similar type. Let's go ahead and do the primary winding test. Place one multimeter here and then place the other on this terminal right here. It is reading 0 0.9. Very nice. And let's go ahead and place it in here. No reading. It indicates if there is no reading, it indicates the winding is open. It seems there is a, some loose connection in there. It's reading infinity. So so this ignition coil has an open circuit on the secondary winding. Well, you can see, if you can see right in here, the, the needle, the center terminal for the secondary winding is broken. But if you see right here, there is a needle. Right there, there is a needle, but on this, that is broken. So that is basically the reason why this one is reading infinity. And finally, let's go ahead and measure resistance for the magnetotype ignition coils. These are a magnetotype ignition coils. Primary begins right here and it will end up on the iron core. Secondary begin from the iron core and it will be taken out from this terminal. Fin is broken, but let's go ahead and measure the resistance anyhow. Primary right here. And then put it on a clean surface on the iron core. It is reading somewhere around 2 ohm. Let's go ahead and place it right on the table. Firm grip. Make sure it is clean, otherwise you will find wrong reading. Scratch it a little, 2.5 ohm. Very nice. And for the secondary, place one multimeter end on the iron core and the other on this terminal. This is where the secondary is going to be taken out. You should be reading somewhere around 5 kilo. Well, it seems there is no continuity. Obviously, it is broken, so we cannot access the secondary winding. Let's go ahead and do the same test for this. This is also taken out of a grass mower. Right here we have the secondary end. Right here we have the iron core. Let's place one multimeter on the secondary in here and do the other on the iron core. 6.23 kilo ohm. Very nice. This is reading 6.3 kilo ohm. And on the primary side, you can test by simply connecting one multimeter on this wire and then the other on the iron core itself. 1.5 ohms. See, 1.5 ohms. So this indicates this ignition coil is functional. So this is basically how you test the ignition coils, primary and secondary winding. This is a very simple test. You can do this at home if you have an ignition coil to be tested. And uh, if you have a multimeter that can read you resistance value, this is a very simple test in order to find out if the ignition coil is working or not. But in order to make sure that it is working, you should have... Uh, a specification for the ignition coil. 
Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this video regarding how to test ignition coil primary and secondary winding. If you find this video helpful and if you enjoy what has been presented, please do smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.